What's going on, boys and girls? It's your boy Nathaniel back with another episode. Right, let's just get straight into it. Mia is an Uber driver who had okay. just dropped off a passenger at a shopping center and was crossing an intersection to pick up another passenger from a store across the street. Okay. She was almost completely through the intersection when, at the last second, she noticed the okay. grill of a semi-truck approaching her at full speed. Mia's life flashed before her eyes, and she told us she Where thought it was all from? over. Seriously. She tried to swerve before the semi hit her, but the impact pushed her into a vehicle in the left turn lane. All okay. of her airbags deployed, and she opened her door almost immediately to escape the powder from the airbags, making it difficult for her to breathe. Okay. A healthcare worker witnessed the collision and was on scene within seconds, assessing her condition and Good. calming her down. A witness to the collision came over from the opposite side of the intersection and started saying Mia had run a red light. She but. immediately hit the dash cam button on her Tesla several times to ensure the footage would be saved as it was the only proof she had that her light yeah. had been green. Mia was transported to the hospital and later released That's with some good. sprains and deep tissue bruising. That's good. After getting That's home, good. Mia reviewed her Tesla cam footage and discovered okay. the trucker had made no attempt to stop. Mia thinks he must have been on his That's phone not. as That's her light had been green good. for at least six seconds before the impact. Yeah. Mia is convinced that if she'd been in any other vehicle, she might not be alive to tell her story. That She's might thankful be the case. to Tesla for building absolute tanks. Well. Uh -huh. This emitter was driving his Model Y in Poland when the vehicle ahead of him lost its trailer, which nearly hit an oncoming car. Our submitter stopped and also honked in an attempt to signal the driver who'd lost the trailer. Now that was a close one. Steve was driving home from a supercharger with his son Jason when they realized they were driving alongside a marathon with lots of runners and people cheering. All oh. the other drivers were driving very carefully around the marathon runners, well, almost all of them. Out of nowhere, an excessively fast blue Mitsubishi Mirage nearly hit the Ford Mustang in front of Steve. Oh, that would have been an Thankfully, expensive mistake. Some people need to have patience when driving near events like this. Steve kept going, thankful it had only been a close call, and Jason told him that's a wham bam clip. Yep. Seuss was driving down a highway in the Netherlands when traffic started to slow down for a collision in up the ahead. Nether. Many drivers, including Seuss, activate. It's in the Nether. Get it? Minecraft Nether, Netherlands. You guys know. their it. hazard lights to warn other drivers. Traffic had been moving slowly for about 30 seconds when a truck driver not paying attention plowed into traffic. Not a truck, the truck hit the opal a... behind Seuss, pushing it into the back that's of a... Seuss's Model 3. Van. After the collision happened, Seuss immediately called 911 and emergency services responded less than 10 minutes later. Not Thankfully, bad. other drivers helped clear the scene and direct traffic before emergency services arrived. Good. Everyone walked away from the collision and the van driver's insurance company accepted full responsibility. Okay, Seuss good. told us it was a stressful experience, but she's grateful she was driving a Tesla. Fixing the damage okay. to her Tesla cost approximately 9,500 euros, about 10,000 US dollars at current exchange rates. The Tesla repair okay. center was That's so busy, it took about three months to get the damage repaired. Kenko was driving his Model Y down a highway in Milwaukee. Rain was pouring down and most of the okay. drivers were taking things slow, but not all of them. A Hyundai came speeding up behind Kenko, and from the looks of it, this wasn't the Hyundai driver's first rodeo. The Hyundai lost control in front of an SUV, okay. which then overcorrected, causing mayhem on the road ahead of Kenko. Well, obviously. Kenko pulled over on the other side of the ramp. The police were already pursuing the Hyundai and were on the scene <laughs> immediately. Okay, so maybe that's why the driver was in such a rush. Drivers <laughs> were dodging the debris, so Kenko decided to leave before becoming collateral damage. Bill was leaving a restaurant and was slowly backing up okay. when another vehicle quickly entered the driveway behind him. Bill hit its fender, as he describes it, in a swiping motion. Bill had been watching his backup camera view as he slowly backed up. At the moment that okay. he looked left to watch for traffic entering the driveway, the vehicle he hit was already in his blind spot and he failed to see it. The woman driving the other vehicle has hired an attorney and is claiming she was injured. Based on how quickly she swooped in behind his Tesla, Bill suspects she may be attempting to defraud him. He yeah, filed a complaint with probably. the Department of Insurance accusing her of falsely claiming to be injured. We've asked Bill to let us know what happens. Subscribe so you won't miss any updates. Yes, subscribe.
This emitter was driving his Model Y in San Francisco, and Wham Bam okay. immediately recognized this road when he reviewed this video. True fans will remember this road from the video we featured of Rich oh, chasing a car thief who'd stolen his colleague's car. That insane video is sitting at over 700,000 views, but let's get back to this one. This emitter was driving down this famous Wham Bam Road okay. when he approached a roundabout and yielded to a car coming from his left. Good. That car ended up exiting the roundabout. The driver of the black Mini Cooper behind and our submitter got upset that he'd stopped and honked. When our submitter proceeded slowly through the roundabout, the driver of the Mini Cooper tried to overtake him on the inside, but they ended up colliding. After the collision, it looked like the Mini Cooper driver was signaling for our submitter to pull over and stop, but the Mini Cooper just drove away, making this a hit and run. Our submitter called the police and filed an insurance claim with the Mini say Cooper the driver's insurance provider, but they denied any responsibility since the collision wasn't visible in the video. Sadly, the Tesla cam made a cut in the video right when it was writing one file and before starting the next, skipping the moment where the actual impact occurred. Our submitter ended up filing a claim with his own insurance provider, Tesla Insurance, and the current repair estimate is at $1,400 US dollars. Okay. Gabe was driving his brand new Model 3 in San Francisco when he moved over to make room for double parked cars. When he did, so? he watched someone throw ice cream out of the double parked Jeep. Gabe told us he's been watching Wham and Tesla Cam for a while now, and he always knew rolling coal was a pickup driver's way of protesting Teslas, but he wonders if things have now escalated to throwing ice cream. I doubt it. I Kevin do. was driving down Highway 2 in Ontario when he noticed traffic slowing down and flashing blue lights up okay. ahead. Suddenly, he realized there was a police pursuit in progress. Wow, it seems like Kevin found himself in the middle of an action movie. As That's he got cool. closer, he realized it was actually more like a cowboy movie. A horse was on the loose, and guys in pickup trucks were trying to lasso it. As long as the horse isn't injured. Kevin That's pulled over to fun. stay out of the way, and thankfully, the cowboys eventually cornered and caught the horse. Alex was on his way to the gym and had just entered the highway when he instinctively merged over okay. to his usual lane. Suddenly, a van driver veered They didn't tell us if the horse was hurt. ...left to avoid a disabled vehicle in the exit lane. The van plowed into a coned-off zone before spinning out of control and colliding with the median barrier. Okay. Alex pulled over and immediately called 911 before getting out and making sure everyone was okay. okay. Thankfully, both the driver and passenger of the disabled vehicle were okay, and they remained on the shoulder after getting out of the vehicle. Okay. The driver of the van that had spun out checked for damage before leaving the scene. Police had already been called okay. and showed up moments later. Alex left as they were arriving, but he told us everyone was safe. Now that's good that no one, well, I guess they kind of were was driving but, his yeah. Model Y in Boston, Massachusetts Arr. when he noticed a semi-truck tailgating a dump truck. What he didn't know was that he had front row tickets to two truckers road raging with each other and putting Wait, other know was that he had front row tickets when he noticed a semi-truck tailgating a dump truck. What he didn't know was that he had front row tickets to two truckers road raging uh, with each other okay. and putting other drivers at risk in rush hour traffic. The semi-driver cut off the dump truck, evidently making the dump truck driver's blood boil. I don't get what that means. He then tried to overtake the semi, but the semi driver moved over to block him before they both sped off into a tunnel with the dump truck closely tailgating the semi. That's very dangerous. Eventually, he should the dump truck better. driver tried to overtake the semi on the right, but he was once again cut off and blocked by the semi. Our submitter thanks God no other vehicles were crushed between the trucks in this ego display before the dump yeah, truck driver good. backed off and took an exit. Our submitter intentionally got close to both trucks to capture their license plate numbers on Tesla cam. Still, he good. doesn't know if anything can be you done to hold the, the drivers plates. accountable. Let us know in the comments if you think he should make a police report or just let the whole thing go. I'd just let it go if no one was injured. No, the guy had just stopped at a red light when he watched another Tesla driver nearly drive into a light pole while making a protected that, left turn. That Tesla man can't drive. That, that Tesla How? man can't drive. That, no guy told us he isn't sure what they were thinking or doing. After the close call, the other driver pulled over and did it again. What do you think was going on? It was autopilot's fault. Just, Jackie's yeah. sister-in-law was returning home in Jackie's Tesla and was rear-ended okay. on the highway right after dropping Jackie and his wife off at the airport. 
Yeah, subscribe. Jackie but had just checked in when he got the news, which he told us was a great way to start the vacation. Okay. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Jackie still took the vacation, and he told us he'll handle the insurance process when he gets back. Chris sent us a video of a rather unusual Honda bump. A Honda driver's passenger rear-ended him. Chris told what us it was the? great to see a gentleman who both took care of his car by avoiding any door dings Good and who took care of his lady at the same time. It looks like she appreciated the gesture too. I think he's definitely this week's real MVP. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed my show, slap that like button. Slap the like button and press that subscribe button, please. Turn on. See, slap this button right here. Slap this button. S and hit the like button. That one. And turn on post notifications. Also that one. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.